right. Join me right now is one of the scariest heavyweight prospects in the world, undefeated, Jairzinho Rosenstrut. He'll be making his UFC debut on UFC on ESPN2 in Brazil. What's going on, Jairzinho? Yeah, I'm okay. How's, that? How's going? Good, good. Um, Congratulations, man, for signing with the UFC. Um, how does it feel? No, oh, thank you. Uh, it feels great. Uh, one of the best uh, organization in the world. So, uh, yeah, it feels good. After you signed your contract with the UFC, the government of Suriname, the Minister of Sports and Youth, came out and gave you full support. What does that mean for you? No, it's, uh, it means a lot. Um, it's, uh, you get the support from from the government, so the only thing I need to do is train hard and try to win my fight, of course. Uh, so for me, it feels very good and better. Let's go back to Ryzen 10, May 2018. At that event, you won a split decision over Andre Kovalov. What did you learn from that experience in Japan against a top-level fighter? Uh, no, it was a great experience, a tough fight. Um, we do our thing, so I came out as the winner. Uh, it was a tough experience for me. Yeah. Uh, a lot. Um, do my takedown defense. Work a lot on the ground. Um, uh, not to forget, that fight was a, a scary fight because I had to fly uh, 42 hours to Japan from my country, so that takes a lot of me. So, and yeah. I start with a yellow card, so um, I did my thing, I win, so I'm glad, and yeah, on to the next step. Well, the next fight you took was in your country, it was for your first MMA title, you won the fight in 10 seconds, 10 second knockout, That's it true. was incredible, um, very devastating, talk about that fight. No, um... Um, at first, I had uh, another opponent, so they were searching for opponent, and in, I think in one week time, I got six opponents. Um, but I did one thing I do best, train hard, focus on what's going to happen, and they came up with uh, uh, this guy from Jamaica, and yeah, um, for me, if you, you make a mistake, I'm going to throw it. So if you make a mistake, I throw the left hook. I go down, I keep continuing, and I won that fight. It was 10 seconds, but that is how it's going to be. So I train hard, I focus on what I'm doing. So, yeah. All right, you had a multi fight contract with Ryzen. Was it difficult to get out of your contract and sign with the UFC? Uh, not at all. Uh, Ryzen gave me the full support, and they just work with me and say, okay. Uh, we give you the chance to go on standing, so they don't hold me back, and I'm thankful for that. So because other other organizations will say no, you have to finish your contract first, and you know how this thing go. So Rising uh, give me the full support to follow my dream on the highest level uh, in the world. Now you are facing Junior Albini in Brazil. Is this your first fight in Brazil? Yes, yeah, it's my first fight in Brazil. Uh, I've been to Brazil. Uh, I've been to Brazil a few times. It's gonna be my first fight, and yeah, I'm excited to be in Brazil. Yeah. Is Albini the perfect opponent to make your debut against? For me, it doesn't look like it's the perfect opponent. Is will stand in front of me. We're just gonna fight, and I go to win. I go for the win, so it doesn't matter who it should be. So we just go for the win, and me and my team are ready. So. Have you studied him? What are your thoughts on his fighting style? Uh, I don't study him, but I watch a few fights. Like, okay, what he's doing, who is he? Because I didn't know him. It's the first time I saw him, and now, uh, yeah, I see if you're competing with the UFC in the heavyweight, that means you're on the highest level in the world. So... Um, uh, I prepare very good, and I feel very, very good to go to this fight against him. What advantages do you believe you you have against Albini? I think I will take him out. 
100%. I just come 110%. I train hard, so I come to take him out. Uh, nothing else. That's my job. So that's what I go for. Right now, you are in Aruba for your training camp. Yeah. Who are that's you working true. with for your UFC debut? I'm working with the uh, Milliard Mick Martial Art Academy. Uh, I'm working with Milliard. He's also here. We just finished training. My coach, Michael Bob from the Netherlands. Um, yeah. We do our thing and we just go to war together. Me and my team already, as I say. You are a decorated striker, but people will wonder about your grappling. When did you start training the ground game and uh, how much of your training camp is focused on grappling and jiu-jitsu? Um, I think my whole camp, we just do uh, everything a bit. So every day we do something else, some day we do complete, some day we do only grappling, some day we do only striking, some day we do only moving, a lot of cardio, you know. So we, we just do everything a little, day by day. Training in Aruba, the weather, it's hot, right? It's humid. What advantages do you have by, you know, training in that type of temperature? Now, uh, the weather is hot. It's same as my country. Uh, also hot, so we, I get used to it. It's normal for me to in a hot country. And, yeah, that's why also with, uh, for me, I'm lucky to fight in Brazil. It's close to my country. Um, the weather is good. I don't need time to get uh, over the jet lag or something. I'm just good weather and it's just close. Has jet lag affected you a lot in the past? Yeah, I, all, I, I almost every fight I just fight like that. Because uh, years ago I fought in Russia, last time I fought in Japan. Uh, that effect, effect on me in my last fight uh, in the Netherlands. It's always been that, so you have to work hard to get on top, and yeah. But now you don't have to worry about the jet lag. How long is the flight to uh, Brazil? So if the flight is going to be like, I think, five, six hours, but it's connecting flights. So I'm going to fly to Suriname, Suriname, Belém, Belém, Fortaleza. <laughs> so it's not that far. So it's almost a perfect situation for you to be fighting in Brazil. I'm lucky to have that situation now. Yeah. You have, like I said, you have a big, big, extensive kickboxing background. What main changes have you made to your style to adjust to MMA? I don't change much. Uh, I just uh, do my defense, take down defense, do defense on the ground, just get up, stand up, fight. Stand back and fight, and yeah, I don't change a lot. Do you have a message for the uh, UFC heavyweight division now that you are a UFC fighter? No, it's more like uh, I'm glad to be competing the highest level in the in the world. So the message is, guys, I'm coming. So I'm coming hard. Who yeah. do you believe has the best striking, other than yourself? Best striking ability in the heavyweight division right now? Who? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, for real. Alright, UFC on ESPN2. Jazinho will face Junior Albini on February 2nd in Brazil. Thank you, Jazinho, for your time and good luck on your debut. Uh, thank you, man. Appreciate it. And, uh, you heard of me. I, you keep in touch. <laughs>